how can we continue to drive for results while also being compassionate and empathetic, especially now? You know, I, I've always been so impressed by what Jay Choi had said to me. I wrote about it. He says, Liz, you know, when your people are struggling, it's irresponsible not to help. But you've got to learn to hand the pen back. And, and so right now, like we want to help but we don't want to go in and stop that learning process because what do we need now, not now more than anything? We need everybody to be learning. And so we don't want our compassion to take over. So we need to be able to, to tolerate a little bit of suffering, to watch people struggle around us, but to have our eyes on what is struggle that's going to break someone versus that struggle that's going to help someone break through and learn. And when someone's about to break, you know, to either remember that they probably don't need me telling them what to do. They probably need empathy and sympathy. Um, Adam Grant, probably a lot of you are familiar with Adam Grant and his work. He, he, um, he likes multipliers. He's, he's claims to be very much a rescuer. And he said, Liz, I think I've learned that when I want to rescue someone, and Adam is such a nice guy. He wrote a book on giving, you know. He said, I tell myself, they need sympathy, not solutions. So like, how do we help, but to remember to hand the pen back? And, and I think as we're wanting to be compassionate to those who struggle, I think right now, one of the things that we'd be very attuned to is getting that stretch right. Like making sure that people have stretch assignments, but, but that tension is just what we're all able to bear right now particularly in light of the fact that so many of us are dealing with struggles on all fronts. You know, struggles at home, struggles in our larger community and family. Um, but, you know, let's keep our eye on getting that tension right and knowing as a leader, do you tend to be an overstretcher or an understretcher? Me personally, I'm an overstretcher. I'm probably more inclined to break someone, hence my mother in that earlier example than I am to understretch someone. And so knowing where you default to is pretty important right now.